Well, hey guys, welcome back to Bartlow's Barbecue, and today we are smoking, that's right, beef short ribs. Some like to call that dino ribs. It's gonna be stellar. I'm so excited. We got the Kamado Joe lit up, and now we're gonna prep it and get ready. Let's do it. All right, guys, we have two amazing stack of short ribs right here. What we're gonna be hitting it with is Black Magic, traditional salt and pepper, kosher salt and 16 mesh black pepper. And now we're gonna hit it on all sides. We already kind of used olive oil for the binder. this incredible black magic here. I already got that oiled on. Yeah, that looks good. Should create a, a really good part. And then I'm gonna finish this up off camera on both sides and then we're gonna, we've got the Kamado Joe fired up and we'll be ready to go. guys we've got the short ribs on there with a little side tri-tip that I'm cooking for some friends later today I'm gonna let this cook and then we'll come back at 160 to do a little wrapping hopefully take it to 205 to 207 and be pro tender ready to eat all right guys we are going to take this ink bird uh, thermo pen and we are going to check out the temperature uh, of these beef short ribs. We are looking for that 160, and it might be a little bit over that right now. Oh my gosh, just the tenderness. Oh yeah, we are hitting 160 for sure. It's starting to feel pro tender in all the spots. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these puppies, put them on some um, butcher paper, and we're gonna do a little test. We're gonna leave one set um, of beef ribs on the Kamado without uh, any kind of butcher paper and then the other set wrap to show you the differences because depending on what pit master you talk to and different theories out there, you're gonna find that you're gonna get a nice crust uh, on uh, your meat whenever you wrap it around that 160. Uh, and then sometimes you're gonna get uh, a different result. Uh, some people like to have a certain method of dry a dry rub versus liquid rubs and and their decision on how they do that so my best advice is to try it out and see what works for you so i'm going to bring you in closer and we're going to wrap these and put them back on the tomato uh, we're going to take this one in Ooh, buddy look at that I'll let you get a close up of what that looks like. That you can already see it boning. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Let's wrap it. All right, guys, this dino short ribs are done. They are looking so delicious. We're going to save one for a set of friends tonight. And then the other, we're going to eat right now for my family. I'm going to bring you in close so you can see this. Look at this, my friends. The bone is just looking incredible. That crust, that bark, we are going to push down on it. It looks, it smells so good. Look at that. Mmm, my friend. And we tacked it with some meat rich barbecue sauce just to give it that like real nice sweet flavor. And a great test is if your bone can come off just like that. And I'm super happy. 
how that came about. This, oh guys, I'm so pumped. Look at that little ring, smoke ring. Oh man, so tender. Look at that juice. Oh, guys, I'm pumped. Let's take a bite. Mm. Oh, wow. Nice bite mark in there. Some say this is the new, the new brisket. I'm gonna say this really is a competitor. <laughs> this is so good. I have to get off here so I can finish eating and letting my family eat this too. So friends, if you like this, like it, subscribe, hit the notification uh, button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. This was so fun. Add it to your barbecue um, recipes. Make it for your community. Make it for your neighbors. Um, you know, we've been sending pictures to different neighbors asking what we're cooking lately, and they're uh, all on board. So, like, make this. It's going to be so delicious. Cannot wait uh, to dive in and eat this right now. Until next time, enjoy barbecue, and check out some other videos. We'll see you soon.